Hey, I hope you're having a great day. It's Taylor and thanks for tuning into my channel. I'm going to switch gears today and talk about how to deal with your anxiety, how to regulate your emotions so that at the first sign of anxiety, you can reel yourself in and really relax and redirect your emotions to be more calm, cool, and collected. So this is just my protocol that I use that works for me. Um, I don't really experience much anxiety anymore. I used to experience anxiety in my old life when I really didn't have a lifestyle that was conducive to my own health, happiness, and stability. But now that I've created my own lifestyle that's centered around what works for me, it's, there's just no need for anxiety anymore, which is great because it just reestablishes that a lot of these mental health problems can be circumstantial or environmental. I'm not saying that it's never an organic issue, but make sure that you do what you can in your control to alleviate these symptoms and you might be surprised. So here is a list for people who has functional anxiety and thinks that there's something circumstantial or environmental going on where you can control and redirect your attentions, energy, and focus. So the first thing that I'm gonna tell you is the newest thing that I'm using. It's an adrenal support cocktail. Now I found this recipe on Jessica Ash Wellness on Instagram and she has a wealth of information on nutrition and things of this sort. So I would definitely check out her channel. Now I, I took her recipe and I just experimented and I tried it. I was curious and it actually tasted pretty good. So the version of this adrenal support cocktail that I tried was one cup of organic OJ or coconut water, because I always have coconut water on hand. And I guess it's because it's the electrolytes or the content, the nutritional content of these particular juices that makes them more of an adrenal support, but you have to ask her. And two tablespoons of collagen powder, which I use daily, and two tablespoons of heavy full fat cream. So I've just gotten into this now because I'm trying to balance my own hormones. And I'm not really a dairy person. I use almond coconut milk in my coffee, unsweetened of course, but I'm trying to introduce more full fat dairies like Greek yogurt or some cheeses. I can't take them all, but a lot of times it's really how these dairies are produced and processed and not actually the dairy itself. So I am having great luck with reintroducing some of this full fat dairy. I've been experimenting with the heavy cream and making whipped cream for, for desserts and stuff like that. So two tablespoons of heavy cream, going back to the recipe, and a little bit of sea salt. And so it's really simple. You can make it a few different ways. I blended it with ice and it was really good. And so I said, hmm, how can I make this something that I would use on the regular and make it more sort of approachable to me? I'll tell you my adapted recipe that I use to make chia pudding, which in essence is an adrenal support cocktail my way. So I split the cup between coconut water and my almond coconut milk. And then I put my two tablespoons of collagen powder and I put four tablespoons of chia seeds and I put a tablespoon of unsweetened coconut flakes and a teaspoon of raw honey and a little bit of sea salt. And then I stir it up and I put it in the fridge overnight and I have it about 9, 9.30 in the morning and it's delicious. Oh, I forgot the best part. <laughs> so in the morning I put the whipped cream on top. So it's the full fat cream that I've just whipped up and I put it on top with some tasty fruit like raspberries, really good with it. You don't have to go so fancy as I do, but if you wanna experiment, you can try that too. And it just makes you smile because it's so pretty. <laughs> That's the first thing that you can do is try an adrenal support cocktail. And it literally will engage your adrenal glands to calm you down and relax you. And it's supposed to fight the cortisol levels, like lower the cortisol levels so that you don't feel that stress response. And it has a physiological effect, which is great. <laughs> And you know, it doesn't have like a wow factor, but it definitely helps you settle and focus. So the other things that I would recommend that you do are clean your space. Like it's really helpful to just have some clarity in your environment. Make the bed, sweep the floors, declutter, whatever it is that you know you have time to do, definitely prioritize that. And then I would suggest that you do the same with your own physical body. Any type of grooming or bath, shower, I mean, a bath is great, but sometimes like you don't have a bathtub, taking a really long shower, maybe putting some aromatherapy oils in the shower is totally fine. And enjoy that. Uh, not rushing is just 
the point here because you're trying to relax and reduce the hypervigilance that's happening like in your body that's making you feel anxiety. You can also then go for a walk, go for like a 30 minute walk. You can also just find a place that has some grass that you can ground yourself with, some sand if you're near the beach, or a body of water would be great. You can, if you have a pool, you can use the pool. If you can have a lake, have the ocean, even better. Definitely getting a little bit of sunshine as well. So even if it's just like sitting outside, finding a spot and feeling that sunshine for 20, 30 minutes, that's also a great thing for you to do as well. And the last thing on my list, it's a short list, I told you it was small because it doesn't need to be any bigger than that, it usually works, is cuddles. <laughs> and it can be cuddles with your person, it can be cuddles with yourself, it can be cuddles with your animal. Um, but honestly, even with like a cozy pillow, you're lying on the couch or on the bed, or a family member, it doesn't have or... to be someone with you to cuddle, although that helps because it helps to release the other hormones the oxytocin hormones that really help combat the cortisol hormones. But I lied, there is one more. One of the last things that I do is read a good book. And I don't read fast, so it really doesn't have to be reading a whole book, but just even reading a chapter or two can really help restart your brain. And some people will say that they have trouble concentrating on reading a book when they're feeling anxiety, so I understand that. And you might have to do some of these other things first. So that's why reading the book is towards the end of the list, but definitely try these out and see if they work for you. So let's go through this list one more time before we end today. Number one is the adrenal support cocktail. Number two is to clean your space. Number three is to clean your body, take a bath, take a shower, take your time. Number four is to go for a walk. Number five is to ground yourself, sit in the grass, get barefoot, walk in the grass, sit in the sand, walk in the sand, go in the ocean, go in the pool, go in a lake. The next one is just literally being in the sun, even if you can't get to those places. Sitting outside and having some bright sunlight on your face just for 20 minutes or so is sufficient and that will do wonders for you. The other one was getting some cuddles in. If you don't have a, your person, then you can cuddle yourself, cuddle a pillow, cuddle a loved one, uh, cuddle an animal, that's totally fine. And last but not least, read a good book. This is a very powerful list. Don't scoff at it, try it out and experiment with the adrenal su uh, support cocktails and let me know what you think in the comments below. I hope this video was helpful. Please like and subscribe and I will talk to you soon. Ciao.